Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. Let's just get right into today's review. I just finished up Lakefront Lodge from Yankee Candle. I really liked this one, you guys. In fact, I don't remember the last time I tried out a Yankee Candle that was new to me that I liked this much. In fact, spoiler alert, I repurchased it. Look at that beautiful blue wax. Yeah, I really liked almost everything about this candle. I even think that it's marketed really nicely. And I had just grown kind of attached to these 20 ounce signature glass jars and they're being discontinued, which is part of the reason why I snagged up another one so quickly. I guess now I'm gonna have to start buying those 22 ounce tumblers with the ugly illustrations like randomly thrown all about it and the tin lid that doubles as a candle base. Woohoo! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, Yankee Candle. Let's try and keep things positive because I did really like this one. Um, we've got 20 ounces of wax. It's a soy paraffin like blend. Two wicks, uh, 35 to 50 hour burn time. I got this on sale on Amazon Canada for, it was $33. Um, and you can get it right now on the American Yankee Candle website for $17 because they're clearancing them off. I will link to whatever I find cheapest for everybody down below. Um, let's get right into the scent notes because these are interesting scent notes. On top, we have aldehydes, ozone accord, and mandarin, fir balsam, pine needles, and cedar wood. And the base notes are tonka, cedarwood again, and labdanum. Um, these are some interesting scent notes. Uh, labdanum is a resin from the rock rose plant. It's a popular aromatic ingredient in perfumery due to its warm, musky, and slightly sweet aroma. So yeah, that's a scent note that you don't hear of every day. And one of the top notes is aldehydes, which I believe is actually like the technical term for the chemical compound that is used in perfumery for like an ozone-y situation, right? Like something very um, salty, ozone-y. It's a very top, high, high, high fragrance. Oh, and I really, really love this one, you guys. It's so airy and so ozone-y. I don't think that it's necessarily a candle that would be for everybody. And the reason for that are those aldehydes up top. You know, I, I actually think this is a fairly well-balanced candle, but those aldehydes and ozone accord on top are so strong that it is almost a little bit of a chemically smell, but that doesn't bother me. Like I am one of those MFs that burns laundry day. Like <laughs> I'm one of those people when I'm like, pumping gas at the petrol station. I like, kind of like the smell of gasoline. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just twisted. I'm making this sound worse than it is. It actually is a really, really lovely, like ozone-y candle. On the top, first and foremost, you definitely get that aldehyde, the ozone accord. Mandarin is also listed on top, but I'm not really picking up on that. You know, actually, you know, I would never ever be able to pick out Mandarin, but there is something a little bit citrusy and soft up there as well. Yeah, so on top, first of all, you're hit with that aldehyde and that ozone. The middle note is a, a wood, sort of a, a creamy, a sharpish, but also creamy kind of wood. It's balsamy, but it's not like full blown, um, it's not like full blown fresh balsam from Bath and Body Works. It's a really nice wood note. And then in the bottom, you definitely can smell that musk and that tonka, and it does do a good job of like smoothing out the candle a fair bit because that top note of that aldehyde is quite an aggressive one, but I do believe that they've done enough to balance this candle out quite nicely. 
And it really does invoke for me exactly what it says, like a lakefront lodge. I think this is more of a fall candle, um, but I thought it also worked quite nicely in the summer. But yeah, this is definitely like, Ah, oh, you know, it's not a, it's a, it's a type of lake that you'd, you'd get in Canada in the fall time, like in Muskoka or something like that. Ah, yeah, it's really nice. I like this candle so much. This is a great surprise for me. This is just what it looks like on a fresh one. Um, and this is the one that I finished. Uh, let's talk about performance. It burned really nicely all the way down to the wick nickels. Hardly anything left, hardly any sooting or residue. Um, I like this format because I do find you're able to burn them a little bit past that three hour time frame as long as you're keeping an eye on them and being careful that they're not starting to soot. Um, so yeah, no problems with the burn quality at all. The first couple of burns I thought were quite weak and I am finding that with these signature um, jar candles, um, the first couple burns are kind of just like the prologue to the candle. <laughs> you know what I mean? The middle of the candle um, I would say that in my open space, you know, when I had really nice deep wax pools, I'd say in a more open space, this got up to a 6.5 and it definitely had a presence. It wasn't just necessarily a really strong presence. In fact, I would say that it was kind of just enough. I mean, would I have liked it to have been stronger? Yes, of course. And I did also burn it in a hurricane in my bedroom and in a hurricane in the bathroom. And in those situations, it got up to like a 7.5, especially like the midway of the candle when I was really letting it go off, got to a 7.5. And so depending on the space and the way that you're burning it, for me, this candle was ranging from a six to a 7.5 for strength and throw. However, even when it was just giving you a six, it was still giving you a presence and it was nice. And even though I, would, I wouldn't mind it to be a little bit stronger, I don't think you would necessarily want this candle to be turned all the way up to like an eight or a nine. I think that that would give that aldehyde ozone -y top note a little bit too much gusto and um and just be a little bit overwhelming i honestly don't think i would change a thing about this maybe just make it a little bit stronger just a little bit <laughs> Yeah, I really like this one. Obviously, it's a repurchase for me, and I would recommend it. Um, I would recommend it, you know, as long as this sounds like the type of candle that you are into. Um, if you are not necessarily super familiar with really ozone-y candles, I would recommend, you know, if you're in the States, going into a store and smelling it before you buy it, because I can see that top note being a bit chemically might turn some people off. But for me, I just found it really lovely in a slightly abrasive way, if that makes any sense. Just like really like salty air and wood and earth and musk. It was nice. I really like this one. And I'm glad, I'm really glad that I did repurchase another one. I'm probably gonna save it for, well, actually I might burn it this fall or I might save it for next late summer. Who knows, we'll see what I get up to. Yeah, no, Lakefront Lodge by Yankee Candle. I consider this a success and it makes me so happy to say that because I have not been able to post great reviews about Yankee Candle for a while now. <laughs> but I enjoyed this one quite a bit. Check it out. How is everyone doing today? Oof, it is hot up here in Calgary. Um, in fact, all of Canada, for the most part, is experiencing quite a heat wave right now. I think today we got up to like 34, 35 degrees, which is um, in Fahrenheit, that would probably be about 102, 105 degrees-ish, I think. 
and oh, I am just sweating like a prostitute in church. Thank God I picked up this pride fan from the club the other night. <laughs> I don't like keeping on my fans and my air conditioning when I am recording videos because it really screws with the audio. Oh, the length I go through for you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take a cold shower. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you could like, comment, subscribe, that would really mean the world. And until next time, my dear friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.